Hello everybody and welcome back to user full plays oxygen not included space oh, 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 oh. Welcome back. We're here playing chilling super fast speed New recording session who dis What were we doing? That's the question. I can already tell I know what these were These are gonna be our lovely little shower rooms. These are gonna be lovely little bathrooms we said something about this, but I don't remember what it is. And we dug all of this out. And planned all of this out. Oh yeah, yeah, because these are going to be bedrooms if we ever have 16 people. Not that I think we will. Anyway, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm having fun. Caught it some Stardew Valley yesterday. It's a good time. It's a little warm, I'm going to be honest. Um... Yeah, you know, I live in the UK, we're not really used to it being warm, it normally rains, so I'm not sure what's happening, but please help, send help, I'm uncomfortable, but, both the windows are open, I don't have a fan on, because you just hear like, <laughs> you know, the whole time in the in the mic, and I don't really want you to have to deal with that, but, you know, you might do, because I might get really warm, anyway, I hope you guys are doing good, hope you're having fun, chilling out, watching the video, if you're enjoying it, thank you. Now let's get to it. What were we doing? Extremely valid question. I th think we were, I wonder if there's another thing here. Oh yeah, there is, Neutronium, okay. Um, we were planning on building a power area. That's right. I wanted them to finish all of the construction tasks first, which they are. That's extremely good. Yeah, they'll get those done. Let me just have a look at priorities. So they'll get those done. Then they'll get this done. Followed by... Followed by... I suppose followed by the fives. So I guess they'll do this and then they'll start sweeping. Maybe they'll do this, and by the time they reach here, it will be nines, and they'll start grinding out the nines. Or then they'll do the eights. No, then they'll do the yeah, they'll do the nines, then the eights. So now we should add is some digging requests. Just dig all of this because these are going to be huge farms. Um. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. We're, we were discussing putting in a wastewater reservoir over here. I feel like it said somebody was trapped for a moment, and it no longer says that. I'm concerned that someone like Ruby got themselves stuck again. But let's let's look. We got one, two, three, four, five people. Where's number six? Ruby, she's up here, she's trapped, she's sleeping, hanging on the ladder. She's extremely trapped. Yep. Yep, oh god, is someone, I don't know what it is, it's only Ruby who ever gets stuck. Or maybe more people than her do get stuck, and I'm just biased into thinking it's only Ruby, because she's the only one I ever see do it, but somebody please... Yellow alert, rescue her. Please. There we go. Really? Okay, then yellow alert, deconstruct everything she's standing on. Is she gonna move? I'm waiting for her to stop going through all the motions. Oh my god, she moved. Okay. Oh, that's probably why she was trapped. Is because there was no ladder. It wasn't that she was stuck on the thing. Okay, that one is me. That's not like, oh, Ruby, you idiot. You keep getting trapped in, like, Middle Air, Mid -air or something? Middle Earth? She's trapped in the Shire? No, I thought it was, like, the kind of bugged she was trapped. But no, I think it was just they didn't build her a ladder. And she got stuck. So, you know, fair enough. 
Fair enough. Anyway, I, I want to I watch them do this. Because I don't want to do what we did last time in the last series, which was we... Oftentimes we had, like we got now, thousands of construction projects and they're not doing any of them because they're like, I want to do this and then do this and then do this and then do this. So we're, we're using the priority system properly, which I'm pretty proud of, if I'm being honest. I never thought we'd be here. I've also got some tea, I'm refreshed. And you're going to say, oh, I thought it was warm, why are you drinking tea? Listen, okay, I don't tell you how to live your life. <laughs> No, I like it. Just tea's too good, you know. I, I looked down here to change the priorities, and something fell. I thought it was a person <laughs> that just fell all the way down. Thank God it wasn't. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Yeah, this. This is going to be a high priority when it's allowed. You know, they'll dig up here, dig through here, at a priority six. So I suppose when they've done this, and they've done this, they'll get to work on this and then immediately prioritise it. Oh yeah, we haven't got them doing that yet either. Hmm. That might cause a small issue <laughs> when we... Here's what I think is going to happen. This thing is going to keep going until it's full. And then we're going to open this door to come in and build all of this. It's going to flush all down there. And it will be a huge cleanup job for us. But it will be worth it because then we can get this bad boy pumping. We'll probably... Where's, where's, we'll probably have them dig... Add a nine when they get here. All of that. Just to kind of square it off a little bit. Ladder there. Oh, and we'll put a floor there. Like a ladder there, maybe? Yeah, yeah, because then we'll we'll floor. Actually, yeah, let me let me tell them to dig this bit as well. Wait a minute, that's a bit of light. We probably don't need to do that. We'll floor, we'll wall, and we'll wall like that. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll leave that in. So we'll basically we'll put a. A kind of basin in for the water to flow into and then I think here we're gonna change this around I'm gonna put the door sideways here or maybe even put the door up here so you have to drop down into here just to stop the water from flooding out okay tea's done feeling good They've almost done with this, but they kind of—they haven't yet, though. They're eating. Food's still good. And it oh yes, yeah, because they're harvesting. Okay, it's like why aren't they doing what I asked them to do? You do not need to disinfect this, my dude. Really? I was just watching him... Oh, maybe I've got him sweeping as a priority. I might have done that. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, this is nice though. I'm glad to see them getting this done. Ruby is asleep again. In a room lacking oxygen. Oh, we're going to need some airflow tiles, aren't we? Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. I'll fix that because there's... Once this construction is done, there's really no reason for them to ever be back in here until we've got um, like actual bathrooms in here. We are going to make these ones the first plumbed bathrooms though. 
and leave we'll leave the latrines up because I worry about removing all of the latrines and then they're like, oh, but I suddenly need to go to the bathroom right now, and then they go and then there's mess and then you're like, really, dude, come on. Anyway, ah, uh, I got man. He he would he would carry. He would carry an extra four hundred and eighty kilograms and have an extra. 300% do they do you think they stack I can't do it I can't have another person I worry too much about our food and oxygen situation maybe I'm over cautious like maybe I don't need to worry but I do though and that's where we're at <laughs> oh you can demolish these okay good to know So I'm thinking of putting a wastewater reservoir right here all the way down. It would be huge. Uh, throw me some ones. Are we... Are we running out of raw material? Igneous rock? No, 82 tons? There's no way we'd run out of, out of raw material like that. Anyway, so I'm thinking we've got this ladder here. But I don't know if we're bothered about it being there. Anyway, I, I think what we want to do is we want to bring like this from here. Like here, all the way down to this abyssalite, perhaps. Then cross like that, and you're gonna say that's that's really big. Do you really need it to be that big? And to that, I would say probably not. But my thinking is. We can leave space up here to put natural gas generators or just anything that produces liquid and it drips. And we can just drip it into the, into the bottom of the basin. You know what I mean? My thinking anyway. Bap. We would want it double thick, probably. And then we'll just have it back onto the neutronium. Bomb, bomb. Yeah, I know. Keep getting alert and stuff. So one there. Uh, four wide. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think they can build two in each direction or dig two in each direction I think four and uh, uh, one two three four well you can't go through that but that's fine e yeah that's fine that's cool So anyway, that's probably where the wastewater basin is going to go. Now, let me check what they're actually doing. They've, oh, they've done all this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're starting to dig this. And they're also starting to do this, which is excellent. I, I did want them to do this. Let me throw some cheeky sevens on here. On those. Just to, like, clear this stuff out and then never have to do it again ever. Uh, the ladders will stay though because these are going to be mess halls and I imagine we're going to want some crown moulding and yeah, nice looking things up the top. Oh, they're going to be sweeping all of that literally forever. Mm, I suppose 
you could do that if you felt that was really the most necessary thing to be doing but you know it is what it is you you do you it will give us a little explore all the way up to here that's sand please don't dig those because the sand will just fall there's whatever this is I imagine we will explore And I think I listened back to one of the episodes where I said, like, I think we want to go up rather than down. And I think that's true because there's no oil or as far as I'm aware, there's no oil on this map down here. It eh, doesn't really matter. I mean, there's definitely something under the abyss light. It's probably just magma, though. We might be able to make an interesting steam thing. Oh, my goodness. I thought I was on silent. I apologize. We could make an interesting steam thing down there. Down here with like. Oh, it's got to be magma. Look, look. 38 degrees. 32, 32, 704. 1,379. This is definitely magma. We could probably do a thing where it's like. Churn that down to just two layers of abyssalite. Water. Steam turbines. Chugga 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 chugga, you know, make infinite power. Though to do that we need plastic, and to make plastic we need crude oil, and to make crude oil we probably need to go into here. How did you discover all of this? I don't know, but I dig it. Cool. Anyway, sorry. I'm supposed to be putting this freaking phone on silent. Nailed it. Put that there in case I need to emergency Google anything. There's just a... Where did all of this polluted water come from? Squeep! Alright, get rid of that. Oh, it's all... Yeah, it's all dripped into here. Awesome. Really excited that we're doing that. If you can't tell... I'm extremely unexcited that we're doing that. <laughs> uh, right, let me also... Plumbing. Picture of pump. Let me put one of those there. So they can pull water out of that without having to use this one. Ooh, it tells you how much water is in the area. 6.1 tons of normal water. Just over 2 tons of polluted water. Really excited. That they let the polluted water in there. Can you really? Is there is a Ah, oh, there's a plant here. Yeah, uproot the thimble reed. Okay. We've got big plans. So, what's everybody doing? You are picking stuff up. I'll issue some sweeps, but only at level 5. Yeah, please make this last little bit happen. I'm also going to reprioritize. No, I'm not going to reprioritize because they're actually killing it. Making their way up here. You are about to churn through some warmish abyssalite. Oh, it's so cold up there. I bet you this is near space. Nearish space. There's so much copper in here. They're two different colours. I don't know if that's because this one's sh shadowed a little bit. I was going to say shaded. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, chuck those bad boys on a one. Have they done this thing? Do that first. And that. And those. 
followed by doing those. Unless I think, yeah, unless you're Catalina who loves to dig. In which case, do whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm not going to judge. Uh, oh, do you know what? We're not going to... I was thinking, like, what are we going to put up here? Crown mouldings? No, I don't think we are, because we're going to use toilets, which are this tall. Oh, we want to put paintings up here, I think. Like, crown moulding, right? Plant pot, crown moulding, plant pot. Painting, 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 painting. Yeah, I was like, they're not odd. I just miscounted. Extremely poorly. It's cool, we're fine. I don't want any of this. Plus 12 cuisine? He cooks so well, but we just can't afford it. I don't need a chef right now. Here's what we're going to do, right? Show me the gas overlay. Comes to there. Okay. What we're going to need to do, I imagine, is kill all of these mobs, which are producing polluted oxygen. Right now, these are producing all the oxygen we need. We don't need it, though, because these things are going to produce oxygen from water we need that oxygen to go somewhere so that we can pump the hydrogen down here how are we going to do that i'm glad you asked we're going to pump the oxygen just out into the atmosphere in order to get enough space to do that we need to get rid of the oxygen that is in here which means we need to breathe it and make it become carbon dioxide And we probably need more plants to absorb more gas. Do they absorb gas or do they just need an atmosphere? I think it just needs to be immersed in an atmosphere. Okay, so only we absorb gas by breathing. It's fair enough. Now, I, I think there are methods of removing gas from your world by, like, building a chamber and compressing it or something like that. I guess you could compress carbon dioxide into solid carbon dioxide or something. But, like, under extreme pressure, it compresses into a solid. Maybe? I don't know. Don't get stuck. Okay, she didn't get stuck. Good to know. I wonder if they've patched it with the most recent patch. Because there was a patch to this game last time I checked. Anyway, uh, show me ventilation. See, this gas pipe, I think, is going to need to come down here. Like this, and then have two gas vents, right? Then we are going to need... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Then we're going to need airflow tiles in these bits. Just to let the gas flow properly. Why is there... <laughs> A hole here? I mean, like, it's definitely something we did. I just don't remember what it was we did. Why not make them airflows as well? It takes copper, sure. But they're bathrooms, and we want them to be to have a proper airflow. You know, we don't need those airflow tiles either. Because we're not going to be putting anything up there yet. Now, in theory, okay, in theory, one of these 
uh, pumps. Hyd electrolyzers, okay, they're not hydrolyzers, <laughs> although that would be a cool word. One of these things is not like the others, and one of them should be able to supply one. What are these called? Hydrogen generators. Okay, that does have hydrogen in the name. Electrolyzer. Nine. So we're going to build two of them. And we're going to use the two of those to power the two of these. These consume 100 grams of hydrogen a second. These produce 112 grams of hydrogen a second. So we should be in a hydrogen surplus. Now they also produce oxygen, which is where we're going to do the whole absorb the oxygen thing or pump the oxygen out into the world thing. We need, yeah, airlocks here and here and there and there. Okay. Um, yeah, we should be good. Now, in theory, this should produce enough power to sustain itself. But we need, we will need to jumpstart it, which I think means... Yeah. I think that means we're going to need a probably a, a wheel in here for people to temporarily stand on. Yeah. Yeah, for people to temporarily stand on. Um what was I gonna say? Oh, to get it going. The wheel produces 400 watts of power. One electrolyzer oxygen takes 120 watts of power. So we should be able to power both of these, but we also need you connected. You take 240. This will take 240. You produce 400. Ah. No, it should be okay. So what will happen is... Oh, God, we have to get these going as well, though. <laughs> Basically, here's, here's the way I see it happening, right? All of this gets powered by this one wheel intermittently they're going to run on the wheel oh do you know what we might need to do actually <laughs> is two of these <laughs> and we chuck them up to nine that's 800 watts of power that should power this 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 these two and the pump the pump pumps water up to here. These things start churning that water into oxygen and hydrogen. These things pump the oxygen and hydrogen where it needs to go. The second the hydrogen hits these bad boys, oh, chuka, 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 these things are going. Now we don't need the wheels anymore. But the wheels are instrumental into starting everything. You should also be nice. That's, that's what I think we need to focus on, is getting the power done. Then we can... Oh, man. It's 47 degree water. 60 to 70 degree water down here. We need the water to be cooled. 
in order to use it to irrigate plants. Otherwise, they'll become way too warm. Or we need to, yeah, actually we just need to cool it. Which means we need a 1.2 kilowatts to run a. I don't even have it yet. But you know the thing. It's not a thermo, a thermo aqua tuna. And then the aqua tuna dumps heat somewhere, and I don't know where we will dump it. In theory, we could just dump it back in here, and that's going to sound stupid. But imagine if we just put the heat from the water into here. It, it's all... Right? Well, it's... That's how heat works. <laughs> Hold up. Let me think. I'm going to give you one more cycle after this one. My theory is... And I'm not a scientist, okay? <laughs> Please bear that in mind. This is 50 to 60 degree water. Let's say 40 to 60 degree water. 40 to 70. You pump it up here into the thermo aqua tuna. And the thermo aqua tuna goes, cool. I'm going to pull 14 joules of heat. I don't know how you measure heat. 14 megawarms of heat out of the water. And then the water that leaves is 14 mega warms colder. <laughs> I picked a bad unit of measurement to make up. Anyway, so it, it's colder and the heat has to go somewhere. It goes back into this room, which is already warm. Right, so what do we care? It's already 50 degrees in here. It will probably stay 50 degrees because we're just taking 50 degree water and removing the heat from the water and dumping it into the room, which will eat the water back up, right? Is that how that works? I'm going to hazard a guess and say no, but I am unbound by intelligence or common sense. Therefore, I can do anything. Do you know why I know it's going to succeed? Because I heard somebody say that it wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. This is coming along nicely. Now, we have, I don't remember what we calculated. One twenty, one twenty. So we've got 480 watts. That's another one. Six, seven hundred and, how much are these? Pardon me, so 720. Plus this is another, my goodness, pardon me, 960 plus this thing. Nine hundred and sixty plus that. So one thousand and eighty watts is how much power we currently use. Well, we'll use once this is all operational. Then 1.2 megawatts, kilowatts, megawatts. Oh, what, hold up. Whatever it is, whatever it is, get it? Um, however many watts it is, we need another 1.2, which will push us again over the capacity of two of these. These are 1,600. We will be at about... 2,300, roughly. You guys are unbelievable. She's trapped there. <laughs> but, oh, what a way to end. That's where we've got to end the video for today. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them to yellow alert this so that they can rescue ruby for god's sake um anyway thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed despite this if you did please hit the like button it really helps the channel out i really appreciate it 
Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel for content, past and future. Make sure you check out the links in the description, ring the notification bell so you know when the video goes live. And I'll see all of you to hopefully rescue Ruby in the next episode. Meh, 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 meh. Okay, see, see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>